What's up guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to show you a bunch of cool tricks that you can do with items that you'll get at McDonald's. Don't mind my little friend in the background there. She'll probably be running through the frame most of the time. Please take a minute to like and subscribe and click that bell button so you know when I post new videos every single week. Now let's get started. So I have two McDonald's straws here and one has a red line on it as you can see and the other one has a yellow line on it. And if you get real close here, you're gonna see if I just shake them, they seem to change places. To perform this trick, all you need is two McDonald's straws. And every McDonald's straw has a red side and a yellow side. And all you're doing is what we call the paddle move. So when I show the red straw and I flip it over, I'm not just spinning my wrist, but I'm also twisting my finger at the same time. So you see the red side, and as I spin it around, I quickly twist the straw. So you see the red side on both sides. So it looks, but you're actually just missing the yellow as it passes. So it looks like this. The straw is red, and it's red. And then you do the same thing with the other one. You put it on the yellow side, and when you spin it, you just roll your fingers and spin it, just like that. And just get used to the feel of how far you have to roll. And then when you want to make them change places, as you move your hands up and down, you just spin the straws. So it looks like that. So this is a fun trick, and I know I've shown this one before in other videos, but it kind of fit this series, so I figured I'd show it again, because uh, it's so easy to do and it looks so visual. So basically, you're taking a cup, and it's an empty cup, uh, and you're going to put a hole in the back where your thumb is going to pop right in. The straw makes it look a little more real, like as if it's got soda left in it. And then what you'll do is, you, you take it in this hand, and you just, just nonchalantly you pass it over. But when you pass it over, you're going to pop your thumb in quickly, like that, so that you could actually let go of the cup. From the front, it looks like the cup is floating when really it's just stuck to your thumb. And it helps if you go closer and farther away. So if I come close to the camera and far away, it looks like my thumb can't possibly go that far. But all I'm doing is this. So you'll definitely need a little bit of setup to perform this trick. Uh, first thing is you're gonna pop a hole into the bottom of the coffee cup, and then you're gonna take a regular sponge and just cut it so it kind of fits that shape, and you'll put it at the bottom of the cup, like that. Now, you'll have a second cup, about the same size, maybe a little bit wider, and that's gonna go in, but on top of that, to block everything from the bottom. Now you'll pour a bunch of coins into the cup, almost full. The final step is to fill coffee in here just above the line where the coins are. What you'll do when you perform the trick is, with the hole in the bottom, you're gonna push with your finger just a little bit, just enough so that the inside cup lifts up, lifts the coins up, and the coffee seeps around the edges and gets absorbed by the sponge in the bottom. Now you can't push too much because if, if it absorbs too much, it'll pour out the bottom. So you have to be careful with how much you move your finger up to make this trick look real. And for this trick, we're gonna have some help from my little pal and cameraman, Mr. Vinny Chenzo. All right, Vinny, so I have two crumpled up McDonald's napkins here. Okay. And what I would like you to do is put your hand out on the table, nice and flat. All right, now watch. I'm gonna take one and put it into my hand, and I'm gonna put the other one in your hand, and I want you to close it and hold it tight. On the count of three, watch what happens. One, two, three. Did you feel anything? Mm -mm. Well, the one in my hand has vanished, and now open your hand. Now you have both. So the solution to this one is pretty simple, and it's really obvious, but you just gotta practice it a little bit until it looks good. So all I'm doing is pretending to put one in my hand, but when I close my fingers, I take it out and I put both of them into his hand. So a couple of subtleties here, right? First, you wanna place it in your hand and pause for a second so they see it there, and then as you close your fingers, just pull it away. So it's gonna look like this. And that way, they see it there, they remember it there, and they're watching here as you move your hand away. Secondly, is you wanna control the other person's hand. So I'm gonna to pretend to put it in my hand, 
grab both of them now, put them in his hand. I'm gonna close his hand for him and turn it over and leave it there. That way he's not tempted to open his hand throughout the tray. And that's it. It just takes a little bit of practice to make this look real. So the solution to the vanishing napkin trick is our good old friend, Mr. Thumb Tip. This is a really great tool for many magic tricks. But the way I used it here is it was on my left hand and I had that behind the napkin so I could pretty easily show my hands. And then when I took the napkin over here, I put it into my hand with my fingers, I pulled the thumb off and I closed it. So now when I tuck the napkin in, I'm really just placing it into the thumb tip. When I get to the last part, I use my thumb, pop my thumb in, and I take the fake thumb out, and then I do one more push with my pointer as a convincer, and then, even though my hand is like this, no one's ever gonna look here, because they're looking for the napkin. So this one really isn't a magic trick, but it's fun to do. So what you'll do is grab a straw from both ends, and you'll squeeze, and then you're gonna twist it like this, and roll it down to trap all the air in the middle. And then, you'll flick it, and it pops. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please take a minute right now to go down and hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks. How'd that look? Okay, Did you just put money in coffee? Just stop it. And you'll spin it down like this, and it won't work. So. Hi. 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love you too.